The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. Brian and Kenzie on Q101. Shine Down came in the studio. You can see that performance on our YouTube channel. Q101, make sure you follow that. And always remember, you can get Q101 anywhere uh, by streaming at Q101.com, on the app, Smart Speaker, iHeartRadio, any, any way you want to listen to us, you can find us very easily, Q101 Chicago. And also... Since that performance, we had several in. And next week, what do we got, Case? We got Better Than Ezra coming in. That's right. Better Than Ezra will be here next Thursday around this time. They'll be doing the same thing that Everclear did. We'll talk to them for a minute, and then they'll play some songs live, plugged in from the lounge. It's going to be and awesome. And then, as a follow-up, we're bringing in Ezra. Yeah. <laughs> so you can decide for yourself. <laughs> God, I want the Norm McDonald joke ready to go. Uh, I don't it have should, it. It should be in there. Search it. Search, uh, search Norm. Uh, just search Norm? Yeah. Yeah, we have this intricate file system here where you can just search Norm and a Norm McDonald joke will come up. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Here we go. Uh, Norm McDonald. And in music news, number one on the college charts this summer was Better Than Ezra. And at number two, Ezra. <laughs> <laughs> it's still funny. Q101 Morning Crew. Sports. Oh, man. Hey, the Bears had a game last night, Thursday Night Football, and... They won! Amazing! Here's some highlights. 54, and that one is inside the left. And he does. <laughs> and that kick is good. So three field goals for him. And he's in! Deontay Foreman takes it into the touchdown. That's pretty much it. It was a lot of field goals and one touchdown. But you know what? Uh, Tyson Bajan looked pretty good as far as not making mistakes. I mean, it was a real dreadful game between the two worst teams in the NFL, but the Bears came out on top, and let's take the victory. Let's take it, and it was great. And they got their first victory in the orange uniforms. First one ever. See, I told you they'd be good. Yeah. You're like, oh, because you know nothing, and they suck in the orange. I remember Brian saying that. Well, yeah. because they're 0-3 in the orange uniforms. And then you spit on me. I don't, okay. <laughs> do you remember that case? I do. I was there yeah, for it. I don't it think... was like the Kennedy assassination. Back and to the left. Yeah. I just said I like orange. <laughs> Back and to the left. Back and to the left. Yeah. So now they're 1-3. In the orange uniforms, and that's great. Uh, by the way, just, just keeping track, there might be Bajan's last game as quarterback. He's 2-2. Two and two. Justin Fields is 7-26 and 26 as a starter with the Bears. I don't know if we keep going to give Tyson Bajan 35 games, 36 games. We'll I just feel happens. like there's not a difference between the two. I feel like, if anything, it's like buying something at Aldi instead of Walmart. Tyson Bajan is, is giving you the same thing for a lesser price. Uh, clearly, you cannot sign him to a, a starting contract. Is that what you're suggesting? No, but I wouldn't pay Justin Fields that sort of money either. That's the problem. That is the, His statistics and, of course, his talented gifts are obvious, but we're still what we are. Oh, I love – I thought about this last night because I wasn't watching the game. I was at the Metro, but I was, I was keeping track of the score on my phone. And it's like Bears-Panthers. Panthers traded DJ Moore for the Bears' uh, first pick in the draft last year. So now the Bears have two first-round picks this year. They have the Bears' pick and the Panthers' pick. And – we were all thinking at this time last year when that trade happened, like, oh, my God, the Bears are going to be one step away. They're going to have two first-round picks. Justin Fields is going to be fixed. We're, we're, we're on the come-up, and now we're probably going to draft another quarterback. We're, we, we're in the same spot. We're in the same spot. Last year was about tanking. This year was about seeing who Justin Fields is. Well, no, this year was about winning, Brian. It wasn't. It wasn't. This year was only about seeing what Justin Fields is because this team still is I, a, I think they thought they knew what he was. Yeah, what, what, you think they need a magnifying no, glass? What do you mean? Last year I think they, they were pretty confident he was going to be good. The, not the whole true. Thing. Not true. They cleared out all the good players last year to start over. Then they bring Justin Fields and they bring some help. Got an offensive line where he can do a few things. And he did a few things. Then he gets hurt. Now we don't know everything. This, it's been delayed to know exactly what he is for a full season to next season now. There's one more season of it. Trust me, that's oh where we're at. You don't think they're going to draft a quarterback? They are going to draft a quarterback. Because oh. <laughs> they, they do know what he is. But that's where it is in the sight of seeing a whole season of Justin Fields. They kind of lost that with the injury. And my guess is now because they won last night, Matt Eberfuss will get one more year. He will get one more year as coach. And to see what happens next year. You get those two first-round picks, you beef up again, then you do nothing, then it's all over. This is like the hangover franchise. It just won't end. We didn't need a third <laughs> hangover. We don't need another Justin Fields season. I got to admit, we didn't need the second one. The first movie's so good of the hangover. The yes. second one's just, eh. And then there's a third one, too. I know there's a third one. Ugh. Which is the Dubai one? Is that the second one? That's the third one. I think one. that's the third one. The second one was... What's the second one? It was also overseas. 
I don't I don't know what country. I just can't remember. I don't I don't know and I don't want you to guess. I just know there's a there's a scene in one of the Hangover sequels where Doctor uh, what, what Doctor what's his name? What's the doctor? Oh uh, well, Ken Jeong. Yeah, thank um, you, Doctor Ken. Thank you. Yes, Doctor Ken does karaoke to Hurt by Johnny Cash. Yeah, and that's that's the highlight. That almost makes the entire movie worth it. No, I want to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I got the in-laws in town. It's Harper's no, birthday. No, okay, this is what I was thinking of. Hangover Two was when they go to Thailand. Let's yes, see Thailand. Oh, who could forget Bangkok? Baby. That classic Hangover 2. And Hangover, Hangover Hang- 3 is when one of their own is kidnapped by an angry gangster. That's the first one. <laughs> oh, this is the third one. They had to track down Mr. Chow. Mr. Chow. Mr. Chow. Oh. I'm sure that holds up. Who's escaped good. from prison and You're is on the funny, run. man. I don't know if I saw this one based on the description. You know, honestly, I don't think I saw that. I saw two. I know that. And it actually was decent. It was okay. <laughs> you was... really come around on Hangover 2? I, I, I talked myself into liking Hangover 2. I like the way Kenzie read that. She read it like you would when she said an angry gangster is very, very formal, very proper. Well, it's spelled proper. <laughs> you read, if, it you... have, if it would have been spelled G-N-G-A, it's a gangster. <laughs> it's gangster. There's an R on this. So it's, a, it's a hard R on gangster. <laughs> yeah, sorry about it. That's how they wrote it. Now, what am I supposed to do? Okay, so now we got to watch Hangover 2 and 3 this weekend to see if they're even worthy of the franchise now. They well, we head c- back to Vegas in the third one. I don't think I saw this. Well, Brian, we all have Harper's one-year-old birthday party tomorrow. That's right. Can we please watch the Hangover while we're there? there are oh, te- my there, God. There they are- should have done it. They made $362 million on it. <laughs> Wait, which one made 362? The third one. No 20% way. on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> Twenty percent, three hundred sixty-two million dollars. Do you have the first one with that one made? Um, <laughs> no. Let me just delete three. <laughs> Not off the top of our head. Just take that Not delete. Rain Man. Ugh. The budget. Why doesn't it have the ultimate box office? The budget was thirty-five million. So the um, budget for the last one was over a hundred million. Shows what we talked about. You've got to get a sequel if you want to make the real money. The first one, they don't know if it's going to work. Kenzie, what was the budget for the first Hangover? Um, for the first thing, uh, thirty-five million. Okay, so it grossed over four hundred and sixty-seven million dollars. Jeez. Oof. But the third well, it's one been was around longer. It's not fair. <laughs> yeah, but the third one didn't do bad. Only a hundred million, like less than the first one. If it's a bad sequel, it shouldn't have done close to that. Must be a good movie. I, well, it's a, obviously, it's a classic. I think you're wrong about this whole thing, Case. That's all I'm taking away. <laughs> I think we should start Three, watching. All of these were successful. Our years with Justin Fields is not successful. Mm. Well, you really got me there. Yeah. We've learned a lot here today. The bear should be more like the hangover. I gotta watch the hangover three. <laughs> <laughs> they go back to Vegas. <laughs> the no, ba- I-, I got on it. The bears need to watch the hangover series, all three. That, that needs to inspire them. Not yeah. Rocky, not Rudy, no, nope. the hangover. Nope. The Hangover 3 Why, so made... they take a group trip like uh, <laughs> Minnesota Vikings on the yacht and oh. then have them? <laughs> that That's not, a great idea. Did not work out well. No. Uh, we'll leave you with, with this. The uh, Atlanta Hawks have gone to OnlyFans to promote their basketball team. And, uh, well, let's just, let's just play the thing. Only Hawks fans know where the real action is. Only Hawks fans know what they really want to see. And only Hawks fans know just where to get it. It's just that music outro. It's just pleasant. I just the kept it in there. The NBA in-season tournament. Join in and wake up your wild side. Hot five on five action. <laughs> I love you. Uh, would you do voice work for a sex line if they asked you? Of course. Do it now. Do it. Do, do, do you want me to call in? Do you want to do a scenario? Or do you just want to do it yourself? I'm not doing it with you. Oh, why? Oh, wow. You can't do that if you work at a sex line. <laughs> <laughs> the Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. Ronnie Kenzie on Q101. At some point over this uh, weekend, make sure you stop by Q101.com. Hit the button at the top. God bless the gravy. And make a donation. As we just talked about being two weeks from Thanksgiving, a lot of people need your help, and the Greater Chicago Food Depository is there for them. That's what this is. God bless the gravy. Oh, we're trying to get up to 30,000 meals. We're at 13,000 already. Not too bad. Oh. And Kenzie can make it very easy for you to explain how we get to 30,000 meals. Super easy. What? You donate money? Yeah. And okay. I- <laughs> Is that what you meant? But how much of that money makes oh, a meal? I see. I see. You got to be specific. Got it. You gotta, yeah. <laughs> Donate money. Yeah. Ding. Ding. Hello. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. So here's the deal. The dollar goes a long way with this one. So we want 30,000 meals, which sounds insane because you're probably thinking, what is it? 
when I go out to dinner, it's like fifteen dollars a meal. Right. Easy, easily, even at like fast food. Yeah. Right. That's a lot. Yeah. No, one dollar is three meals. That is insane how they make that happen over there. You can there. donate one dollar and give th- three meals. That's the furthest your dollar can go. Our vending machine here in this building, ass and a half, okay? <laughs> it, it's two dollars for a Snickers. Yeah. Two dollars would feed six full blown meals. It is incredible. It's the furthest your dollar can go. And I like this because we all get hit up a lot, especially on this time of year, to donate to things, right? Right. And trust me, I get it. Something's got to give at a certain point. We all wish we were billionaires, but we're not. But what's really, really cool is as you're choosing what to give to, is I like that you know where your money goes when you do this. Because so often you're like, I mean, I got a 20, I got a 10. You don't even know if that was a drop in the bucket. Did that feed or give water or house or clothes? Now you know exactly, like, how many meals you just provided to a T, and I love that. Like $4,301 did 12,903 meals. That's incredible how many people are going to eat because you've done this. And the Greater Chicago Food Depository, anywhere you can hear us, whether it's on the app even, uh, you know, that's who gets served because they go to 600 to 800 food banks around the area. And we'd like to shout out our people to donate. Like Barbara did $210 recently. Joe, 10 bucks. Paul, 10 bucks. If everybody does 10 bucks, we get really quick to our goals, and that's all it is, All you got to do. Just don't feel overwhelmed about it. Adam keeps checking in from ACDC Closets. That's Adam Closet Design uh, Culture Custom Closets. And ACDC Closets, that just go find them. And they I said, rock. They rock. Get it? <laughs> got it? I don't know if that's their slogan. <laughs> it should be if it's not. I think it's fun. <laughs> Adam has donated every couple days uh, because people mention Q101. He says, the morning crew, Q101, hope everyone has a great weekend. Uh, we're here and uh, rock on. He puts in his thing, so oh, rock on. Just hit up Adam at acdcclosets.com for uh, all that kind of redesign stuff in your home, which makes your home way better, by the way. Yeah, and by the way, if you have a small business or, I mean, a large one, you know, whatever, yeah, whatever you're rocking and rolling with over there, uh, you make a donation, we can totally shout out your business. We see those messages there. Yeah. So let us know. We'd be, we'd be happy to plug your business and give them a little love here on the radio because you're making an awesome donation. You know, those big businesses like Amazon, you know, people, if they, they want to donate a million bucks. I don't bucks. know if they need any more word of mouth. No, no. I think they're like, fine. Well, if they give a million dollars, they can save Chicago. How many meals would that be, Kenzie? Three million. Three million <laughs> meals. Come on now. Go for Let's it. Let's go back to what people, what's a little bit more in the in the realm. You can throw in $5 if you want today. It's 15 and meals. 15 meals. There Every, we go. Everybody does it right now. Q101.com, the top button. God bless the, the Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. Ryan and Kenzie on Q101. Time for the weekend Q101. Everything going on in and around Chicagoland, anywhere you can hear us. Of course, you listen on a smart speaker, on the app. All weekend long, you can't escape us very easy to listen to us so do it also very easy to go do a bunch of stuff q101.com uh, case puts up a great blog about everything going on and the new music out so why don't we start there we can always do case with the music yes all right i got three shows i want to talk about this weekend obviously everybody should know by now group love is doing a q101 pop-up performance they are at the cubby bear tonight all of that info is on q101.com it is a free show it's going to be packed. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be such a good time. I love the new Group Love record, and that show sounds like a lot of fun. So that is at Cubby Bear tonight. All that info at Q101.com. There is a local band playing. Now, if you if you want to go to Cubby and it fills up, but you still have a hankering for live music, head down to Sub-T in Wicker Park. There's a band called Lurk playing there. They're local guys. They're coming into the station this afternoon uh, so I can interview them and bug them and talk to them all afternoon. And then they'll be playing at Subterranean tonight. They're kind of like... Devo meets the Ramones a little bit. Wow, I like that combo. They're, they're, they're a, a punk band in spirit, but they have a, a more classic alternative sound to them. So I really like them. That band is Lurk. They're at Sub-T tonight. And then we have so many crew members that are going to be at House of Blues tomorrow night. It is Real Friends and Knuckle Puck co-headlining show. Of course, I love the openers on that show as well. Of course you do. It's a band called Arm's Length and a band called One Step Closer. Guess what? If you like the headliners, you're going to like the openers, too. That show is sold out. That show is loaded. And I hope everybody going there has fun. I like fun that on. both of the openers are just, like, distance measurements. <laughs> <laughs> Arm's length, one step closer. You're absolutely right. Okay. Now, yeah, one step closer is not a Linkin Park tribute band. No. And they're, that- they're like, they're asked all the time, like, oh, was Linkin Park a big inspiration? They're like, no. No, I mean, 
are fine, but not like one of our guys. <laughs> <laughs> so I wear I wear a one step closer shirt often because they're a band that I, I really, really like. And I was like, ah, oh, sick Lincoln Park shirt. Like I always get that. It's like, oh, it's, I, I it's definitely not. hope it's arm's length. Then one step closer. It is. And then the opener. Because <laughs> you're just getting closer. <laughs> He was oh. describing it. Yeah, that, that show's going to be loaded. I can't even make it. That show's sold out, and I'm bummed out because, like I said, I, I feel like everybody there is a big big Q on a one head, so that's going to be a very fun show. Right on. Uh, Kenzie, what do you got? Uh, tomorrow night is the Boys and Girls Club of Elgin Massive Gala Fundraiser. So my me and then my husband, Roman, we are going to be emceeing the night. Right on. Really cool. It's at the Q Center. Beautiful, beautiful, like huge building um, in St. Charles. So it's going to be at the Q Center tomorrow night. And they have some awesome, awesome auction items they always do every year. Like cool vacation giveaways, all that. They have a really nice seated dinner bar. One of the things that you can actually bid on is like a table upgrade where you get like actually free open bar all night. Nice. It's just like a raffle ticket price. Like right really on. affordable. So, and they have a live band that always comes in. Actually, arm legs it's coming right now. <laughs> um, arm no, legs they, one step closer. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they do have a, an actual live band that performs and it really turns into a party pretty early on. That kicks off at like 9, 930 and then goes throughout the night. Super fun. Do you have a question? I do. Yes. What did you say the, the name of the venue was? Q Center. Oh, my God. How is that not ours? I know. I know. Should we buy that? Uh, we I should don't... do events there. <laughs> Seems like a real minimum. Big missed opportunity. I would love that much closer to my house. <laughs> <laughs> I would be so enthused. Uh, I would love if Twisted Christmas was there. <laughs> I'd be amped about the whole thing. Anyways, so really, really cool. Um, they even have um, artwork raffles that are done by uh, kids in the Boys and Girls Club. Which is really, really cool. They do a lot of, like, Chicago local teams. Actually, but Chicago Cubs painting. Nice. That, I, uh, that my husband did on one year because it was the Chicago Cubs, so I couldn't get him to stay away from it. And, but it was really cool. It's done by one of the kids of the Boys and Girls Club. And all the money goes towards building new facilities, you know, upgrading the rooms, um, just so, that, so they have everything better. Because when you are a member of the Boys and Girls Club, they come after school, right? And it, it starts um, at a super young age. I want to say elementary, but maybe junior high. It goes all the way up to high school. Yeah. They get to come there. And a lot of kids are even provided meals. They provide a snack for when you get there after school and dinners because a lot of parents work so late at night. So they're spending a significant amount of their life there. They have gyms and computer centers and all, like, tons and tons of opportunities for kids to be in a safe environment, an environment where they can get their homework done and have help, an right. environment where they can discover passions. There's usually a music room, art room, things like that. So Boys and Girls Club, it, it, does, it doesn't get much better than that, like just completely taking care of youth who's, whose parents are working hard. And they, they just can't be home at those times, right? right. So it's super awesome. Is that, um, is that a walk-up event, or should people go to a website and buy a ticket now? You can or? still get tickets. So if you go to the Boys and Girls Club Elgin there for sale, um, I'm going to have the flyer posted later on my socials if you want to check it out. You could probably buy tickets at the door, I'm assuming, but... Just well, to be yeah. safe. Just to be safe. If you're going to go, get a ticket in advance. And it's a, it, it's a really, really awesome event. Like, I, I, they've sold hundreds of tickets. Like, it's a really, really fun. You're not going to show up if there's, like, 20 people there awkwardly staring at each other. It's a really fun event. On top right of on. It. That's all. That's tomorrow night. Yes. Um, and the weekend Q101 continues. I just want to remind everybody, obviously, in honor of Veterans Day, my people, Wendy's doing something amazing to honor the veterans this weekend. So, um, if you, you know, go to the, go to the Wendy's, get the sausage, egg and cheese McMuffin, get yourself a breakfast baconator. Uh, what they're doing is giving a free breakfast combo offer with a military ID or a veterans advantage card. And this will happen tomorrow morning, 630 to 1030 AM. Just go by a local Wendy's and do that and make sure you, uh, <clears throat> get emotional about the veterans. <laughs> oh my God, Bram. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat. Da, na, 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 yeah. na, 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 all, <laughs> all, all that they do, remember it. And, and for those people out there, like, this is the way to get, you know, we all know there's a monstrous mental health and homeless veteran problem out there. So uh, you get yourself some free meals tomorrow. Sausage, egg, and cheese, uh, English muffin, the honey butter chicken biscuit. These are all amazing. Thank you to Wendy's for doing this in honor of Veterans Day. Again, it is Saturday, 6.30 to 10.30 a.m. Just go to your local Wendy's and check it out. And that is the weekend Q101. There's a lot of other stuff on there. Go to Q101.com and Case puts a great blog up there and check it out and do something this weekend. The Q101 Morning Crew on Q101. Lauren.
Warren is coming in next. Take you through the rest of this Friday. Getting you closer to the weekend. It's Brian and Kenzie on Q101 with your takeaways for the entire week of shows. It's been awesome. And, uh, Case, what do you got? Kelly checked in, as she does every day. Remember, she beat Kenzie and clashed with Kenzie earlier this week. And she said, if you need a conversation piece to entertain your friends, buy Napoleon's petrified penis as a table piece. Very fair. Uh, Kenzie, what do you got? Do you think it's small like he is? Or do you think he was, like, packing and stacking? like a tripod. No. I heard it's small. I haven't seen it, but I heard it's small. From who? Uh, the internet. Your wife? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Uh-huh. I love her. <laughs> <That was fun. laughs> Anywho. <laughs> Eric texted it and said, Case is a fat piece of garbage and not a thick boy. Thank you. Respect him next time, Brian. Sure, sure. A hey, thick boy. What are we doing after the show today? You can't God. say that. It's so demeaning. <laughs> so hurtful. Call Worst. me a fat piece of garbage. <laughs> For sure. Noted. And we'll do that in the future. Uh, finally, double features. Mike checked in. Takeaway. Everyone in the 1920s danced the Carlton into the Depression. <laughs> <laughs> if you miss a moment, miss a lot, especially this weekend. Tomorrow morning, 8 to 10, Case puts together the throwbacks for Brian and Kenzie. So make sure 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. And then the podcast is available on demand anytime you want at Q101.com and anywhere you get your podcasts. The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101.